Hey, hey, how's it going? In the last couple of videos, we purchased a domain and created a simple landing page. And now we're ready to deploy it on free hosting with the Cloudflare CDN. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is come to Netlify and sign up for a free account. This hosting is completely free. Um, so once you have your account, you can come inside and it's typically used to deploy from GitHub, but well, we're going to make this as simple as possible. So you can just come to the sites tab here and at the bottom, you can drag and drop a folder. I'm going to drag my folder with uh, the demo domain.dev that we created in the last video with the index and the iPhone folder. So let's drag that folder right into here. And it's already published. And we can view it on this uh, URL right here. We can see demo domain dev. If we go to iPhone index HTML, you can see the landing page that we made. So this is already deployed on a on a URL, but we want to make a custom URL using the a Cloudflare CDN. So the first thing we're going to do is come to our Cloudflare account and add a new site. The site demo domain dot dev. Going to add the site. And then this is asking you which plan you want to use. You can just click down here at the bottom and it's free. Click continue. Now it's going to check for our DNS records. Um, we're just going to accept whatever it finds and we'll fix this later. So we got this. Continue. And now we need to change our name servers. Since we purchased the domain on Namecheap, we have to go inside of our Namecheap account and remove these name servers and replace them with these. So let's copy this one. Let's go inside Namecheap, find your domain here, and then we click Manage. And then the name servers right here. We can put this on custom DNS, paste the first name server, grab the second name server, paste it here, click the green check mark, wait for it to update. It says it should take up to 48 hours. Usually it's within a few minutes, so we'll just continue on with the setup and tell Cloudflare to check the name servers. And you can just click finish later here. So usually in about 10 minutes, Cloudflare will send you an email saying that your name servers are correctly set up. You can also click this button um, in a few minutes and see if it's, it's working. So in just a couple minutes, we received an email from Cloudflare and it says that the status is now active. So we can continue on with our setup. We need to go into Netfly now and go to Domain Settings. And then we're going to click this Add Custom Domain. We're going to enter our domain, demo domain.dev is what we want to use. It says it's already registered, of course, because I've registered it. And so we need to add domain. And then we need to check the DNS configuration. And this tells us we need to make an A record for demo domain.dev pointing to this IP address. And since our domain is now pointing from Namecheap to Cloudflare, we need to add this inside of Cloudflare. So let's copy this IP address, 
go back into Cloudflare, go to the DNS tab, and we can remove all of these records that are here. And then we click add record, add an A record. We're gonna add it on the root, so we can just type the at symbol and the IP address. And we wanna turn the orange cloud off for now so that cloud, uh, Netflix can verify that we're the owner of the domain. So we also need to come back into here, close this, and do this for the www version as well. This one we need to do wwwc name to this domain, including the period on the end. So come back into here, add a record, add a C name record, www, paste the domain, turn the orange cloud off again, click save. That's set up. And once you're back inside Netfli, you can scroll down to the HTTPS section and click verify DNS configuration. DNS verification was successful. So then you can return back into Cloudflare and enable the orange clouds. Perfect, and then we can finish setting up Cloudflare so that it, our website loads fast. So we can go to SSL TLS and Edge Certificates and always use HTTPS. And then we can go to the Speed tab optimization and we can set auto minify so that Cloudflare is always serving minified versions of our files this will make them load faster and leave the rest there and then we can go to the network tab and you can leave this on you want to make sure that HTTP3 is on. The ORTT enable. The GRPC enable. You can leave these on. Pseudo IP4, you can leave off. IP location on. And that's it. So now we can check if our domain works. Demo domain dot dev. And it's working. And then we can also verify that the iPhone page is working. Yes. Custom domain. So in just about 10 minutes, we've configured hosting, free hosting with a CDN for our landing pages. And when you would like to add more uh, landing pages, you just update the folders, the, fo the files in your, fo your main folder that you dragged here originally, and just drag it here again, and it will in a few seconds um, republish the new files and you're ready to go. You may need to sometimes go into Cloudflare. Let's go to caching tab. And you can purge everything. And this will ensure that the Cloudflare CDN cache is cleared so that the new files are updated and being served to all your new visitors. And that's it for this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Um, while you're here, appreciate it. If you 
commented, liked, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer them best I can. See you next time.